How's it going guys? My name is Lappy. On today's video guys, I'm gonna show you how you can boost your FPS in Fortnite Chapter 4. I already showed you a quick FPS boost video, how to improve the performance and the best optimization, but I didn't show you guys how you can boost your FPS focusing only on Fortnite and non apps or Windows optimization. I recommend you guys that if you have a good PC, don't make boost of FPS. But if you want to keep doing this, remember that I'm gonna say something before we start to do this FPS boost video. Okay, so first we need to close Fortnite. Alright, so as you can see, here's the boost pack that we're gonna use but first i recommend you guys to create a resto point if you don't know how to create a resto point it's really simple press the windows key type create click on create a resto point now we're here on system properties click on create over here we need to put the name of the resto point what i'm gonna do is put like fps then click on create and you need to wait until the system protection create the resto point the resto point was created successfully so click on close and you now create the resto point so if something happened with the fps boost pack and you don't like it and you want to restore everything back you can use the resto point what you're gonna do is go again to the system properties and click on system restore now here you need to click on next and as you can see here's the resto point you need to click on next finish and let your pc finish to do all the restore so you can have all the settings back all right so now we can continue with the fps boost pack okay so in the description you have the link of my website what you're gonna do is go to the last post as you can see is how to push your fps in fortnite chapter 4 what you're gonna do over here is choose click on this post if you can find this post copy the title of this video and paste the title and press on enter as you can see you're gonna find the recent post which is the one that we're gonna use for this video now click on the post if you have a pop-up something like this choose close this and click again into the post now scroll down and click on download here's the boost pack what you're gonna do is only click on download and as you can see it will start to download the pack that we're gonna use okay so make sure to have winrar before you extract this file if you don't know how to install winrar there is a lot of videos on youtube that you can use if you want to have winrar also also, you can use 7c but i recommend you more winrar you need to extract in the folder boost pack and then you can open this folder as you can see it's only four steps don't worry it's real simple and easy so don't worry okay so first we're gonna have the best game user settings four game user settings that in my opinion are the best if you want to boost your fps as you can see we have high end laptops low end and mid end if your laptop is good remember to use high end low end or mid end but if your laptop doesn't have a gpu i recommend you to use this folder on my case i'm gonna use high end because on my opinion my pc is high end but a lot of people don't say that it's high end but right now i'm using a 1650 so i'm gonna use a mid end which is an extension resolution so what you're gonna do is copy the game show settings now you need to hit the windows key plus r over here you're gonna open the run tab and we're gonna type app data go to local fortnite game save config and windows client here you need to paste the gamer settings and now you need to replace the file in the destination okay so what i did right now was put the best gamer settings in your gamer settings so in the case that you use low end laptops or high end you need to do the same go to the windows client folder and paste the gamer settings here remember that the gamer settings that i'm showing you are the best because it has the best quality configurations and also it has better resolutions that will give you better fps once you put the gamer settings that you want you can come back to the boost fps pack and now now we need to open this folder which is epic launcher commands you need to open this notepad and as you can see we're gonna have some commands over here open the epic game launchers once the epic game launcher opens what you're gonna do is click on your profile and if you have any update on the epic game launcher please first update it once you update your epic game launchers click on settings which is this option over here now you need to scroll all the way down and as you can see we're gonna find over here manage games over here we're gonna have the installs games that we have on epic game you need to open fortnite and you need to click on this additional command line argument click on this and as you can see we're gonna have this box what you're gonna do is open the notepad that you will have also on the boost pack epic game launcher commands epic game commands open the notepad and as you can see here's the commands what you're gonna do is only copy this and paste into the additional command line arguments at the end you need to put the available cores that you have on your pc if you don't know how many cores you have on your pc what you're gonna do is only press windows key plus r or here you need to type dx dx now you need to click on ok and you need to go to system on system on processor you will find what processor are you using and also you will find the cores that you're having on my case i have 12 cores so what i need to put over here at the end is a space 12. once you put the cores that you have you can choose 
go back to the settings, you can close this, go back to the settings and that's it. Remember that the commands line arguments will save so don't worry because it always gonna be there. Come back to the boost fps folder and this is the best part of this video, the format priority. Open the format priority and here I recommend you two things, if you have a high end pc use the normal one or just don't click on the high priority because this is only focused for mid end and low end pcs. This will boost a lot the fps but please make sure to do it if you have a really bad pc. What you're gonna do over here is just double click on high priority, click on yes, click on yes and now click on ok. If you don't like high priority and you want to restore everything back, what you're gonna do is only activate this which is Fortnite normal priority. Just double click on this, click on yes, yes and ok. And now you have the normal priority for Fortnite. As I told you guys if you want to use high priority this is really good for low end and mid end PCs but if you have a good PC I don't recommend you to use the Fortnite priority because this is only focused for low end PCs and mid end PCs. And now we need to do the last folder which is the tweaks. Open the tweaks and over here there are just 3 simple tweaks. CPU, port and priority. What I recommend you guys is activate all of them, just double click on this yes yes and okay you need to do the same for the last two and this one okay once we finish with the fps boost pack that's all now we need to close the fps boost pack and what you're gonna do is update the drivers of your gpu if you don't have gpu you can skip this part but if you have gpu i recommend you to update the drivers could be intel amd or nvidia on my case is nvidia and what i'm gonna do is open only the g4 experience which is the which is the way that i can update the drivers once you are on g4 experience just click on drivers and over here what you're gonna do is click on download we need to wait until the g4 experience download the driver and then we're gonna install the drivers. If you don't know how to update the drivers for AMD, on the description you will have this link which is where you can download the drivers of Nvidia. What you're gonna do first is click on graphics and over here you need to choose the graphic cards that you're having. In my case I don't know too much about AMD graphic cards, so I'm gonna select a random one which is for example 500, then I'm gonna select I don't know what series, the series 500 and the series 550. Once over here just click on submit and now you need to choose the operating system. On my case is windows 10 but if in your case you have windows 11 make sure to choose the right operating systems on my case as i told you is windows 10 as you can see here is the download type make sure to always update the last one which is this one as you can see was released the last year now what you're gonna do is only click on download and as you can see it will start to download the drivers once you download the drivers just install i'm not able to show you how to install because my gpu is nvidia and the software will not work okay so once the drivers of nvidia are downloaded, what we're gonna do is click on express installation and continue with the installation what you're gonna do is only express installation click on yes and now you need to wait until this finish this will turn off your monitor a couple times until the drivers are right updated okay so once it's finished you will see something like this as you can see graphic drivers fixed systems he audio and then you can click on close okay so once you take the drivers i think that's all that you need to do if you want to boost your fps there are a lot of ways to boost the fps and this is one of them in the following videos i'm gonna show you more ways of how to boost the fps on fortnite chapter 4 okay guys so as you can see we're getting 500 fps with actually is pretty decent i'm not gonna lie ha 500 fps with the 6050 is not really easy i have done many optimization and many boosts of fps to get this amount of fps so guys i'm gonna end up with this video saying that thank you for watching i hope this helped please follow step by step if you want to have a lot of fps on fortnite and let me know in the comment section if you want more videos about boosts of fps on fortnite that's all for this video i hope you guys enjoy my name is Lappy, and i see you soon bye bye